So thank you, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Um, my notes. Um, we've, um, we've obviously launched this webinar as a way of introducing to you uh, a new vendor, uh, Blue Jeans Network. Um, I'm Daniel O'Hare, sales manager uh, at Westman UCC, responsible for video and collaboration solutions. Um, joining me today is Raj Basra, uh, channel manager at Blue Jeans. Um, so the aim today is to introduce you to Blue Jeans as a vendor, uh, to give you an overview of the, the opportunity um, that we believe exists, uh, why we've added that to, it to our portfolio, uh, why we think you should be adding it to yours. Um, and hopefully we'll cover what Blue Jeans uh, offers as a solution um, and how we can work together to, to help maximize the opportunity around uh, this exciting new technology. Um, but first, a bit of background um, around Westcom Group and uh, some context as to why we've added uh, Blue Jeans to our um, to our portfolio. Just got to get a quote on it. Going to mute somebody there. A bit of background noise. Excuse me. So um, I'm sure you're all familiar with uh, with Westcon Comstore, Westcon Group, um, and our, our key brands. Um, mo most well known uh, Westcon uh, and Comstore. Wonderful. PowerPoint just crashed. Bear with me a second, everybody. Sorry. Within uh, the Westcom Com Store brand, we've got seven key solutions practices. Um, I'm sure most of you are aware of some part of the business or, or another. Um, Westcom UCC is the part of the business that, that I represent. Uh, and along with that, we have Com Store, which is our Cisco practice covering networking solutions, uh, and Westcom Security, uh, which covers most of our hardware vendors across those three brands. Um, but we have the other solution practices supporting that. Um, including, for example, uh, Westcon Services, which covers all of those uh, all of those different vendors, all of those different practices, and helps us to enhance the off offering that we bring to you and that you can bring to your end users. Um, within each of these um, core areas, uh, we support a number of vendors, as you can see, um, each with a, a specialization. Um, and it's within UCC that Blue Jeans now sits, along with some of our other uh, unified comms collaboration vendors. Um, so recently added to our, our solutions practice is our cloud solutions um, specialization. And we're now at the point where clouds can, can support each of our key uh, practices in, in some way or another, whether it's uh, networking, data center, uh, security, or indeed uh, unified comms. Um, Cloud is an increasingly important part of the IT landscape, and, and that's why we've worked to, um, to create specialist areas uh, where we can support our resellers and our vendor partners um, in delivering and accessing a range of cloud services. And this in turn helps you to enhance the range of services that you can offer to your customers. Um, so this is what leads quite nicely into BlueJeans, which is a cloud-based video and collaboration solution. Um, and it fits very well within the rest of our UCC portfolio. So at this point, I'll hand over uh, to Raj um, to give you a bit more background around the opportunity around Blue Jeans. Let me check you on your YouTube, Raj. And the opportunity ahead as we see it. Can you hear me now? Hopefully, I'll get some uh, nods at least. Great, fantastic. So. Yeah, see some nods. Thanks, Ed. Ed, thanks, Alex. So, in terms of the opportunity, I think much of what we're going to talk about will resonate with you. Uh, maybe some of the uh, the environments that you're operating in, maybe some of the customers that you have, and some of the conversations you're probably having with those customers. So, from our perspective, in terms of the industry trends and the drivers, uh, these are the, the top four or five. There are many, many others. But the globalization really seems to be coming at the forefront right now in terms of organizations getting bigger. There's a lot of mergers and acquisitions, and so they have staff located in offices all across the globe. And it's important for them to be able to connect. And that, that 
that ability to scale the service seamlessly uh, without buying more hardware is important. Um, what we're also seeing is a lot more uh, budget available within specific lines of business. So for example, uh, previously, it's normally IT that holds all the purse strings. What we're now seeing is uh, departments such as HR, for example, pulling out budget and saying they need to have a video solution that allows them to connect anybody anywhere. So for example, they might want to connect, oh, I think we lost the slides there. Oh, they're back again. So HR might want to, for example, interview somebody in a far-flung place, maybe in the, on the African continent, maybe in Asia, maybe across on the west coast of the US. Many times these candidates don't have access to video conferencing endpoints, and so they might want to just connect using their iPhones, iPads, PC browsers. And so HR really love the Blue, Blue Gene solution because they can just send an invitation from Outlook, connect to those people, record the interview, and then send that recording to the recruiting manager. And the recruiting manager is then able to say, yeah, I like the look of that person. They said some really sensible things. Bring them in for another interview. And it really makes the whole process far more productive uh, and shorter to fill those sort of gaps within their, um, within their ranks. Interoperability, I think, is a huge buzzword. Everybody talks about it. BlueJeans delivers interoperability across all types of platforms. And you're going to hear your customers saying, we want to be able to connect our existing video conferencing islands, our endpoints that we've invested in, with maybe users coming in from their iPads or their browsers on, on Macs or PCs. You know, much of this is driven around uh, Skype, so we have a solution integrated with Skype for Business as well. And the ability to bring in Apple or Android also really does help. And not just in a very basic way, but in a way that allows these people to schedule meetings from their apps on their phones, to be able to host meetings, to change screen layouts, introduce content uh, from their devices. And clearly, everyone's transitioning across to leverage the benefits of cloud, be that the flexibility of adding multiple endpoints, the agility to add people on the fly, and of course, the cost savings without having to buy more infrastructure. And the last point here we have is bandwidth. I mean, bandwidth is now available just about everywhere. Uh, you know, when you leave your home in the mornings, so you're probably carrying a couple of devices that you can have a video session with, your mobile phone, your laptop, maybe some of you carry an iPad as well. So that 3G and 4G connection actually allows you to have HD experiences and share content. So these are the sort of trends and drivers we're seeing in the industry uh, that drive in BlueJeans forward. So there are trends and drivers, but in terms of the, uh, the, the end user barriers to entry, there's many of these. Uh, the first and foremost is complexity. From an end user perspective, walking into a big boardroom such as the one I'm in right now and picking up one of these remote controls, it can feel quite daunting. Some of these look like scientific calculators these days and how I detest those. But uh, it's very difficult to set up point-to-point -point meetings. And it's even harder for some people to set up a multi-point meeting. So that is the first barrier to entry, the user experience. The second key barrier to entry is incompatibility. How do I get these different islands, be that somebody from Skype for Business, somebody on a Cisco endpoint, somebody on Polycom, somebody just using their browser, how do I get all of these different types of endpoints into the same meeting. And that typically has involved a great deal of transcoding and infrastructure. And then finally is the expense. You, know, you have to buy this stuff. You have to buy the infrastructure. You have to buy people who are going to run the service for you, either internally or out at a reseller. So that's quite difficult for an end user to get into the video conferencing world. And if you move on to uh, our partners and resellers, they also face some of these barriers to entry. So for example, if you wanted to sell bridging infrastructure from many of the big vendors out there, you would have to go ahead and acquire some demonstration equipment. And as we all know, MCUs with 20 or 50 or 100 ports aren't very inexpensive, but then you also have to maintain and service those things. Then you have to be certified. You have to be certified from an engineering pre-sales and sales perspective. And then finally, you know, it's all good and well selling this equipment, but then you also have to build a service organization in terms of shipping, installing, servicing, and maintaining, and maybe even building a help desk. So all of these things combine to really make it difficult for many of our partners to leverage the new opportunity ahead of them, which is to supply video conferencing, but in a cloud basis. So that's the barriers of entry that we're seeing. And maybe some of you are experiencing these already. Maybe some of you have already invested in their demo equipment or certifications, but maybe you're looking for an alternative solution that may be seamless, uh, easier to deliver. Okay.
So some of the global trends that are really helping us as well are the things that you see in the screen in front of you, what we're seeing, and this is a report from Gartner not so long ago, which looks at a market between 2014 and going out to 2019. And one of the very key things, the headline figure there is that the spend worldwide for on-prem and VCM points is declining. It's declining around 14% a year. So you can see the huge drop in market there from 736 million down to 207 by 2019. We're also seeing spend on endpoints decreasing. But whilst the spend on endpoints is decreasing, we are seeing actually the number of endpoints shipped increasing. And I think that's largely to do with the, uh, the sheer variety of low-cost endpoints hit in the marketplace. So now the endpoints aren't traditionally these big, huge Polycom or Cisco or, or, or you know, uh, life-size systems. They are the low-cost Logitech cameras. They are the tele-cameras and all those solutions that really leverage cloud uh, backend infrastructures. And then, importantly, many of you have probably been in the video conferencing market for some time and you've sold MCUs or other bridging infrastructure. Well, the spend on that sector is also decreasing significantly as organizations really leverage that shift to cloud delivery to you know, get the agility, the flexibility, and the scalability. And BlueJeans really comes into its own there because we actually replace the MCU. So, you know, feel free to interject at any time. Let me know if those are the sort of uh, drivers and trends and maybe some of the, uh, the, the revenue patterns that you've been seeing. I think we all understand why video conferencing, why that's good. Wayne House Research came out with this uh, a little while back, and it talks about cost benefits, business benefits, and strategic benefits of video. But if you take it one step further, why video conferencing as a service? Why is that more important than just selling video conferencing uh, infrastructure and endpoints? Well, it reduces the initial capex, and that means that organizations can actually spend more on getting endpoints uh, enabled across the globe in all of their locations. Those endpoints can be anything. But then you look at financial flexibility. It moves things from a one-time cost to a recurring cost, an OPEX cost, and it allows those organizations to focus on their core competencies, not managing infrastructure, but actually delivering what their business is about. So who is BlueJeans? Uh, many of you may have heard of BlueJeans. You may have heard of us in your, your customers already. Uh, maybe you've heard of us in the industry. But in terms of BlueJeans itself, we were founded in 2009 by these two gentlemen, Christian and Alagu. Uh, we're headquartered out in Mountain View, California, and we have offices across the globe now. We have scaled significantly in the last couple of years. We have over 500 people across the globe now. So I don't think we can call ourselves a startup as such anymore. We're a fair-sized organization. We've uh, invested much of the money that we received through five rounds of um, investment from some of the key players in the VC market. Uh, we've got about $175 million in the bank. and We've been using that to really scale our business. And for us, the ethos is all around driving easy and pervasive video, as easy as audio content, but over the cloud. So I use that word a lot, easy. Uh, we want your experience and your customers' experience of using BlueJeans to be as easy as possible. We spend a great deal of time and effort, and our developers are continuously working to drive that experience to a point where it's fewer clicks or a faster connection or the ability to connect over any device and over some troubled networks. We want it to be open. We really want people to connect from whatever they've invested in at the moment, be they Polycom, Cisco, whatever the endpoints they have, laptops. We're really expecting and we have driven a consistent user experience right across the board. And that means when users really use our service, they're seeing the same sort of patterns, the same sort of joint flows. And when it's consistent, you see the adoption and usage drive up. And of course, importantly for many of you and our customers, they want to see that as an affordable service. And indeed it is when you compare it against buying infrastructure, not just that initial investment, but the service, the maintenance, and actually driving that scale as you build a bigger video platform within your organization. So these are the four key pillars. And then if I wanted to summarize everything that BlueJeans does in one slide, I guess we could leave this slide as a takeaway. We effectively allow your customers to connect any room system. As long as it can dial an IP address, it can get into a BlueJeans meeting. If your customers are looking to review and create a desktop or mobile strategy, or if they've got one already and they want to enhance it by adding browser-based clients or Apple or even Android, maybe Skype for Business, BlueJeans allows you to bring those all into the same meeting as well.
And collaboration clearly is important, and not just static content sharing of Excel and PowerPoint PDFs, but the ability to upload videos into your meetings and play them across all devices. That's, that's been quite challenging for video conferencing traditionally, and I think with BlueJeans now you'll see a new way of people sharing that content. And of course it's multi-party bridging. Our standard service allows you to bring 25 endpoints into a call. And those endpoints can be anything. And with our premium service, you can take that up to 100 endpoints joining a call. So all of that is enabled think, by Blue Jeans in the cloud. I think I should point out at this point as well, Raj, if I may, um, that on, on the subject of collaboration, chat is a part of the uh, of the standard experience around Blue Jeans. And if you if, if at any point you want to ask any questions, you do have the uh, the chat window. Uh, over on the right hand side, there's a little chat icon you can click on and ask any questions there if you want to. Um, everyone's muted at the moment, just so we kind of eliminate any background noise where everybody is or where various people are in offices. But if you want to ask any questions, please feel do, free to do so at any point. Great, thanks, Dan. I should so have said that at the beginning. Next. Okay. And then these are some of the things that our customers are asking us. I'm wondering whether these are the sort of conversations you're having with your customers. You know, a lot of people have got video conferencing already, but they're now asking whether recording is available and where is that recording kept? How do, how do we share that recording? Uh, is it secure? You know, do we have integration with Outlook and Google Calendar? Yes, we do. Can we scale the service up and bring more and more users onto the platform? Of course. Um, one of the things that's really important now as enterprises really grasp video conferencing at a global level is meeting analytics. Trying to understand who your top users are, where they're based, how many meetings they're having, what the quality of experience is for the people scheduling the meeting, as well as those joining the meeting. And within BlueJeans, we have a service called Command Center, Command Center Pro even, and that allows you to drill down all the way to live meetings. So you can look at a click of a button exactly how many minutes, how many meetings, where you had your most meetings. You can even get ratings back. So as you all leave this meeting today, you'll be asked to rate it as, you know, bad, poor, good, okay, great. And we can really take that feedback as your customers can and really improve the service and find out where we can make uh, you know, better things happen. Okay. Skype for Business has really come to the forefront in the last year or so. It used to be Link, of course, it's uh, Skype now. And BlueJeans has always had integration with Link. And now with Skype for Business, many of our customers, in fact, uh, virtually all our largest corporate customers that have got Link or Skype are using the integration that we allow. And that allows them to continue to use Skype internally. But when they want to break out, when they want to connect to perhaps their existing investment in room systems, maybe they want to connect out to third party organizations but not worry too much about having to go through federation each and every time, then they're beginning to look at Blue Jeans. So, the graph that we have, or the chart you have in front of you now is from Wayne House, and it looked at organizations where they deployed UC to over 50% of their user base. And what they found is UC, or Skype, was primarily used for presence. Is there a green light next to Dan's name? And I am. Can I send him a quick chat and say, hey, Dan, are you available for a call? And then the user would just jump across and use their video conferencing endpoint or some other tool. But IM, interestingly, was the only feature that was used by more than 50% of users. And whilst a quarter of the people uh, surveyed here said that they were using UC for video, only 15% had their rooms integrated. So what does that tell you? It tells you that Skype and other UC platforms are really, really valuable when it comes to presence and IM. But people yet have to move beyond that to real video calling. Some of the challenges that you have are the interoperability. You know, trying to connect Skype, Link, which was an island, to other islands. So, for example, video conferencing endpoints, mobile users, and so on. Then you have limited multipoint capability, and actually how that multipoint is displayed on screen. Uh, typically, you have a large person at the top, and then you have a little dashboard, a little screen, a gallery view of everybody else uh, along the bottom of the screen. And that can be quite difficult to read body language and facial cues and expression. And then sharing content across different platforms is challenging. And as is federation, because unless you have open federation, you have to federate each and every time. And when you look at the IM and presence, the application sharing, and AV and web conferencing, it gets quite complicated as to how they achieve those things from a user level. So those are the challenges. 
if you move forward and you think about some of the solutions, if you have a Skype for Business or a link user with BlueJeans, they're able to schedule a meeting using their Outlook calendar and send those invitations to anybody they want. Whoever gets that invitation, clicks on the link, joins a BlueJeans meeting, and can join from whatever device they have. So be they room-based systems, be they third-party applications like Java or browser-based users on Mac or PC, or mobile devices, they can quickly and easily join these meetings. We've got scalable, multi-point capabilities with up to 100 sites per call, and everybody has the ability to change their own personal layout. Content sharing is both ways, and a one-time federation is all it takes. So that's why a lot of organizations are beginning to look at Skype for Business as their internal tool, and they're looking at blue jeans to allow them to connect everywhere else. So as a business, we hosted about a billion minutes of face-to-face -face interactions in the past year. Just in the past few days, we broke a new barrier for ourselves, and we hosted 100 million minutes in just 30 days. And as you can see, I think the facts speak for themselves. Bluetooth is growing at a really, a really great rate. Uh, and if you skip to the next slide here, I mean, we are growing last year 400% growth. But we expect the same growth this year. So there is a huge potential out there in the market for cloud-based services such as BlueJeans, and we really want you to capitalize on that. Capitalize on the move away from on-prem infrastructure and hardware endpoints to one where you're able to use cloud-based services at this sort of growth uh, velocity. And we're a good fit for all organizations. You probably recognize many of these uh, logos. We've got many, many more, around 5,000 customers across the globe. So if you are coming across an opportunity and you want to have a conversation about maybe the opportunities in finance or in energy or wherever it happens to be, then I'm sure we'll be able to pull out some reference case studies that will help you. Okay. So that's Blue Jeans. That's uh, a bit about our business and what we do. Um, the question then is why blue jeans? Why do you want to sell blue jeans? Why could you sell blue jeans? Well, we find that it helps our partners to differentiate themselves. And by that, I mean in a, in a crowded market space as we have, particularly in Western Europe as we've seen, there are so many resellers selling the exact same hardware configurations. And eventually that conversation drops down to price. What we want to enable our partners to do is be able to differentiate by bringing to bear a cloud-based service that is different. That says you don't have to have this initial outlay, capital outlay and hardware, and that you can pro propose an agile and flexible solution that competes with hardware and really meets your customers' unique needs. Blue Jeans is a very simple sale because we're not shipping equipment, because we're not going through any complex uh, configurational changes. It's a simple sale that our partners find repeatable. Our sales typically close within a month, sometimes just after three meetings. And the opportunity here really is to leverage Blue Jeans to not replace hardware sales, but convert some of those one-time hardware opportunities to ongoing recurring, recurring revenue streams. This is how we help our partners transition from a hardware-based business to more of a service and as a service recurring revenue business. And many of our partners, and perhaps many of you, are looking to make that transition now. Now, we're not saying don't sell any hardware. In fact, the absolute opposite. Blue Jeans enables you to sell more hardware. It pulls through endpoints. There will always be a requirement. Of course, people are beginning to connect from their existing laptops and their mobiles. But many organizations still want endpoints for their boardrooms. They still want to more cost-effectively video enable maybe some of their huddle rooms and meeting rooms. So, so uh, bundling together blue jeans with some of those solutions from Logitech or Tele or the lower price video conferencing endpoints really builds an opportunity for you to take these bundles and A, increase the revenue you're getting from your customer, and with blue jeans, increase the margins that you're bringing into your business as well. And what we've seen is because it's a relatively simple sale that you can repeat quite often, you can visit each and every one of your customers and seed them with blue jeans. Seed them with a smaller uh, deal, maybe 20 or 30 licenses initially, and then sit back, let us drive the adoption, let us drive the usage with our customer success business, and then wait for a consistent stream of upsells. That's how we position it. We go in relatively small sometimes, but when the service starts to get used, it's very viral, more people want licenses, and they will come back to you and ask for more licenses and, and you'll get more sales. 
But ultimately, as a uh, service business, you're tying your customer in for multi-year contracts, three years, five years. And in that time, you always get a chance to go back and talk about new things, new features. And ultimately, this is about driving the lifetime value of a customer to your business. We'll touch more on that in a minute because what you will see is Blue Jeans starts small within accounts and you can really quickly see a path to scaling it and driving some significant revenues. Okay, so we have some plan options. Our service is delivered either a standard service or a premium service. You can see from the table at the top the key differences between both, either 25 sites or 100 sites per call, the ability to order, uh, record only five hours versus unlimited recording and playback. Reporting is delivered either at Command Center or Command Center Pro. Command Center Pro gives you real-time statistics of live meetings and the ability to pull down uh, reporting and so you can analyze that. And premium also now gives you branding, which means that when you send out an invitation from your Outlook calendar, it has your customer's logo on it. When somebody clicks a landing page, it goes to a landing page with their logo on it. And in meeting itself, it has their logo, something that a lot of our executive customers really want to see. In terms of the plans, you have named user. Named user is simply selling licenses. Everybody who needs to schedule a meeting needs to buy a license and they can invite 25 or 100 sites to those calls. The guests join at no charge from any device. That's great when you know exactly who's going to be using uh, the licenses and you know how many people uh, are going to be joining. So that's the first one. You simply sell licenses and that scales. We have tiered pricing from you know, uh, 10, 15 users up to 10, 20,000 users. The next model is probably similar to what you've sold if you've been selling bridges and that's ports. You can buy cloud-based ports here it's important just to understand a bit about the customer's uh, meeting experiences, how many meetings they have a day, how many of those overlap, how many average sites per call. And what happens here is a customer can draw upon those ports and use them in any, any way they want. So if you, for example, bought 20 ports, your customer can hold a meeting with 20 sites or two meeting, meetings simultaneously with 10 sites or four meetings at the same time with five sites. So they can choose any which uh, permutation they wish. And simply when they reach the number of ports they've purchased, we'll continue to give them ports if they have other meetings happening at the same time. They just get charged an overage charge, which is $75 or £50 per port per day. And then what we find is once customers have these sort of agreements in place for a year or two, and they really see the value of blue jeans, there is a third plan. And the third plan is an enterprise plan. And here they buy into named user licenses for everybody in the organization. So the pricing is based on a number of people within the organization, the employees, and it gives them unlimited usage for every single employee as much as they want. They can buy that as a standard or a premium service, and it's deeply discounted to really drive that adoption. And they're multi-year agreements only. So these are the deals that our partners really want to get to because they're very chunky deals. They're two or three year service contracts, and it's for company-wide adoption. Okay. So I spoke briefly about seeding your customers. We have a land and expand strategy that we have in Blue Jeans. It's been very, very successful for us. Here, you just engage your customer, understand their pain points, be that bringing in mobile devices, adding more video conferencing endpoints, uh, rec recording features, whatever they need to do. And then you can position a relatively small deal that meets those needs. So in the first example, this was an internet media group. Uh, you can see that in the first deal, it was just a four port deal. That was worth $6,000. The first upsell happened six months later where we upsold it to a 70K enterprise wide deal. 18 months into the deal, they decided that they wanted to have 350 named hosts. That increased the price to $185,000. And if you think that through, over five years, that customer has moved from $6,000 a lifetime value of $723,000 over five years. If you look at the next example, it's a renewable energy company. Here they started with just 15 named host licenses at $10,000. Within six months, they moved to 50 licenses uh, at $50,000. 
And then in 18 months, they moved across to 700 named hosts and $150,000. And then they decided that they wanted to go, uh, you know, they wanted to stay with us. And that's a five-year contract, five-year value, just under $600,000. We've got other examples. If you look at the online travel reservations business here, it was a six port deal initially, 12K. 12 months later, they increased again. It was a moved to a named host model at 104,000. Within two years, they moved to an enterprise plan at $200,000 a year. So the lifetime value over five years, so that's over $700,000. And transportation, again, very similar structure here. This was 10 named hosts at 12K. 12 months, it became 120K as they moved to uh, a large number of named host licenses. And over five <coughs> years, that will be worth $492,000. And that's outside of their commitment to come back to us now and buy more licenses in batches. So hopefully, what we're, what we're presenting here is an opportunity to seed as many counts as possible, let BlueJeans work with our customer success team to drive adoption and usage, and allow you to then go back into those customers and really talk about the adoption and how the opportunity can expand beyond the initial purchase. So hopefully that's of interest to many of you. Um, and I think we can just move on to the next slide in terms of the reseller support. Let me just see. Uh, Dan, have there been any questions at all? If there haven't, that's fine. But we can always uh, ask questions or open up a bit later. We've had no questions so far. But everyone, feel free to ask. Either the messages are resonating and people are really listening or we're flying right over the radar and it's not, it's not ideal. But uh, in terms of reseller support, I mean, we really want to make sure that we support you to drive your business. It's not just simply a, here's blue jeans, go sell it. We're actively driving demand out there in the market space. We want end users to come to you, to our partners and say, hey, we've heard about blue jeans, we want to buy some. Uh, we're going to make sure that you all have sales training. We have call out scripts that we can have for your sales teams so that when they do call their customers, they have the right sort of questions, the qualification questions, to really identify a potential opportunity. We have pitch decks, battle cards, data sheets, case studies. Uh, and when we move forward with each, and one, each of you partners, we'll also be able to talk about demo accounts that we can give you. And simply that's it. You don't need to buy demo equipment or infrastructure, pay maintenance charges, train your people in any real technical depth. We'll help you all the way along. In terms of that demand generation, we are at ISC right now, so I know many of your colleagues may be there across in Amsterdam. Uh, we work with Gartner, we host webinars such as this one uh, for you, but we also host end user webinars. We have upsell campaigns where we will go to our customers with our partners and talk about how they should be increasing their service to cover more people. We have many, as you can imagine, we have uh, the blueteams.com website, which is a great lead generation tool for us. Uh, and we assign as leads to our customers. We have thousands of uh, prospects across the globe applying for free trials. So that's a great lead generation source for us. And of course, there's consumer, uh, Google advertising, awareness campaigns, social media that we work through as well. Great, thanks Raj. Uh, so at this point, I will uh, just open the floor to see if anybody does have any questions before we move on. Um, so. Rather than just use the chat, I'll, uh, I'll open everybody's microphones. Does, does anybody have any questions they want to ask at this point? In that case, I will move on. Okay. So, so obviously, what we've talked about is uh, it, it is the blue jeans opportunity itself, and. and um, Raj did mention um, that we're not looking to, to end hardware sales. Um, but, uh, just... Right. Uh, sorry. The. Um, Obviously, what we're not looking to do is, is to end hardware sales, but to, to enhance them and, and find more ways to, to maximize the opportunity that BlueJeans presents. So um, BlueJeans is a great tool for, uh, for bringing together um, desktop, mobile, and room-based video, which is actually something that's been quite difficult up until now. Um, we've got a couple of examples within the, the Westcom 
a portfolio of of entry-level video systems that can be used to extend that video experience from from traditional meeting rooms where you might typically spend many thousands of pounds on a um on a hardware device um to relatively low-cost devices that are that are easier to uh, to deploy more places and in, in huddle spaces and so on and extend that video meeting experience elsewhere uh, the tele 200 uh, is the latest offering from tele which you may be familiar with uh, very simple um full hd dual screen display sit it on top of a, a screen plug in a network plug in an hdmi cable into your displays and you're ready to go it's got very good very tight integration with blue jeans Sorry, Daniel. Uh, I think we have a is, question uh, in the chat, please. Sorry about that. Um, and uh, in, in the new Polycom portfolio, the Polycom debut, which is another um, very simple um, set-top video unit. Uh, both of these are designed really to to to. In uh, to be used on a cloud-based service uh, and and, uh, and both are available to demonstrate uh, so they're a great way of, of, of extending video and the blue jeans experience from from mobile devices to desktop to, to more meeting rooms um, and similarly where we're looking at mobile and, and desktop users uh, audio quality is very important this is something we experience across the uc world uh, particularly around uh, microsoft link and skype for business where it is important to make sure that the audio quality is, is of a, a level to give the right user experience. Um, we have a, a, a number of devices from, from leading audio manufacturers like Plantronics and Jabra. Um, the type of device used in any particular scenario it depends on the worker profile. So the office worker, the remote worker, uh, or an open space might use different, um, different devices, such as those we've, we've got, uh, got on the screen here. Um, and of course, as well as the hardware, there are other opportunities for you around services uh, um, that you can sell to your end users, whether it's around consultancy, whether it's around the installation of the video devices of the associated AV equipment that goes with them, the screens and so on, uh, maintenance and support for those devices. Um, and of course, an important part of, of the whole Blue Jeans opportunity is around those recurring annuity revenues um, around the licensing, but also around these additional services because uh, you, you have a much closer, stickier relationship with your end users and you can continue to drive sales and drive, drive services uh, over, over many years. Um, so what we're looking to do is um, look at typical bundles. For example, these are a couple of ideas that we've put together for, for typical deployments of blue jeans. Um, so on the left, a, a 25 user deployment. Um, we look at between, um, between one and three uh, out of every 10 licenses might be a hardware based endpoint um, so looking at these these, these bundles of uh, 25 users we've got the head headsets for the mobile and, and desktop users and a few video endpoints typical price for this fifty one thousand um, dollars an interesting point to make here is that this is um, built on twenty one thousand dollars for for year one for that for that initial hardware sale um, and the, the first year Blue Jeans licenses, and then further $15,000 for years two and three around Blue Jeans licensing. This does not take into account the land and expand that Roger was talking about earlier and the opportunity to increase um, usage and adoption of Blue Jeans and video throughout the organization. Nor does it take into account additional hardware that you might be selling to your customers as, uh, as they increase their use of video as a, as a collaboration tool. Um, some of those things that, that even Westcom doesn't sell, whether it's mobile devices, desktops, laptops, uh, and so on. So the opportunity to, to increase the value of the overall proposition is, is a very, very real one. Uh, and again, looking at a larger deployment of 100 users, uh, looking at a, a number of named host licenses, um, again, headsets um, for, for different types of workers, uh, video endpoints, um, and again, the opportunity to increase uh, the scope of that offering over, over the course of multiple years. And as Raj said, there's a lot of support here for you. Um, so Blue Jeans will support you through that sales process, as will Westcon. Um, so through pre-sales, through sales training, uh, through sales support, all the way through um, customer engagement, developing proposals, and we need to close that business. Um, that we've got a, a range of marketing services that we can help 
you to put campaigns together to attack your customer base and to drive those new opportunities and, uh, and help you to achieve and then develop that go-to-market go strategy. Um, specifically around some of the reseller support that we have for Raj. Okay, I'm not, in terms of the reseller support, I mean, we spoke about how we support our partners. Ultimately, I mean, we're here, we know this is a new sale for you. You probably want to understand how the sales process works. We're clearly uh, very used to doing that. So we would like to work with you hand in hand when you go approach your customers. We'll work with Westcom, we'll work with you, we'll go present the solution to the customers together. Uh, and we'll maintain that support and contact throughout the term of the agreements that we reach. Uh, we'll provide you with a co-branded marketing collateral and case studies. We've got a lot of case studies, a lot of collateral. Uh, and again, that can be co-branded so that you can have your logos on that when you hand it out. In terms of post sales, Blue Jeans provisions a service. We deliver the training and the adoption activities. We have a customer success team that works directly with end users and our partners. So it's important to understand we do work directly with our customers and we engage all of our partners in every one of those communications. Because ultimately, the goal here is to drive growth in terms of revenue. And so we can only be successful if our partners are being successful. So we have a lot of experience, a lot of tools and collateral that help our customers really, really drive that adoption throughout their business. Uh, we'd expect, obviously, you guys to deliver the first line support, but we deliver just about everything else. And when it comes to renewals, this is a really important piece. We track actively every one of those renewals, and we know when those renewals are coming up. So two to three months before the renewal point, we'll reach out to you, we'll talk about the adoption, we'll talk about how much usage your customer is getting out of Blue Jeans, the value they're deriving, and then we'll help you position the upsell. Be that more named host licenses, be that more ports, or perhaps the customer's ready then to move to an enterprise deal. We'll help you go to the customer with the most attractive plan, proposition, commercials. Okay. Thanks. Um, so one of the great things about Blue Jeans is that it's really easy to demonstrate. Um, hopefully the fact that we're using it to host this webinar today is an example of that. Hopefully you found it nice and easy to, to join the meeting today. Um, and of course, this is a way that you can demonstrate it to, to potential customers. Um, however, um, Westcon has invested heavily in our Leap Center. Uh, our demonstration facilities here at our Gatwick office, um, and you're more than welcome to use this as a uh, as a tool to demonstrate any of these technologies that the Westcon sells to your end users. And it's a way to see how the different technologies can integrate with each other. So we have traditional hardware-based uh, video conferencing systems in there from from a number of vendors. Uh, we've got a, a Skype for business deployment in there. And of course, we can see how all of these different technologies integrate with Blue Jeans to provide an end-to-end -end communication and collaboration solution. So this is a, this is a, is a resource that's available to you, uh, as I say, whether that's for, for sales training, for pre-sales training for your own staff, or as a demonstration facility where you can bring your end user customers and help show to them the, uh, the value um, of, of the kind of technologies that we have available here. Uh, so please do, do use that. It um, costs a lot of money. We want to make sure we, uh, we, we, we see that return on investment. Um, so we have had a couple of questions um, prop up as we've gone through, which I see they've been answered. So we'll just um, open those out to, to everybody. One of the questions um, was asking whether there was uh, integration available um, with Skype for Business on Office 365. And the answer to that is, is yes. Um, through 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 federation. Um, if anybody else has any other questions, then uh, then please please ask them. But really, in ter terms of next steps, it's it, it's quite simple. Um, obviously, we've talked about the fact that um, there can be quite a short sales cycle uh, with Blue Jeans compared to other video solutions. Uh, and that's that's a great chance for all of us. Um, so we've got a real rapid go-to-market opportunity here. There isn't a long drawn out cycle of certification and a massive investment to be made. The, the barrier to entry for you is, is quite simple. And it's a matter of signing up um, as a Blue Jeans reseller via the Westcon website. Um, you don't need to worry about making a note of this URL now. It's not the, um, the, the shortest and punchiest for you to remember. Um, there is a link on your original uh, invite email to, to the webinar and I make sure that that is 
distributed again. Um, so there it's just a matter of signing up to some specific terms and conditions. And um, all of my, my, my team will be following up with, with all of you um, who have attended the webinar today, um, just to gather feedback, make sure that your questions have been answered, and hopefully to get you signed up uh, as a reseller. Um, and following that, we can work with you to, uh, to make sure that you've got all of the right collateral that you need to develop that go-to-market strategy. Um, we, we'll deliver that sales training for you. Um, we'll make sure that any opportunities are registered online so you have your deal reg um, process there to make sure that you're protected for the work that you're doing with, with your resellers. Uh, and we will support you all the way through those uh, through that sales engagement, both through Westcon and through Blue Jeans, to make sure that um, we have the best opportunity to, to win that business and, and to maximise um, the, the, the whole opportunity that's there for you. Dan, we had a question Anybody? just now. Uh, I was just having a look at the IM around competitors. And it's a really interesting question. I mean, many of uh, our partners also support other solutions as well. And so this question comes up quite a bit. I mean, in terms of competitors, yes, we have competitors. Everyone does. Um, there's a lot of companies in this space right now. Some of them are hardware infrastructure based, some of them are cloud based, some of them have been in the market for some time, some only just recently joined. And so, yeah, the traditional names that you can expect, the Pexips, the Ecanos, the Polycoms, you know, the Cisco's of this world, of course, they all compete to some extent or other in the space that BlueJeans operates in. But BlueJeans is a true cloud based service that's been going on for five years plus uh, in terms of how we deliver, how we scale the business, and we are a true cloud provider. Now, Obviously, there are customers that want on-prem solutions, and there are other customers who want to leverage cloud-based solutions. I think the secret here is just trying to make sure that we uh, address the right market. Uh, and so, yes, traditional vendors are out there. We do view those as competitors, but I don't believe any of them really offers exactly what we do, and I'm sure they say we don't offer exactly what they do. But ultimately, it's about offering what the customer needs, and they're all on an individual basis. Thanks, Raj. Uh, so, are there, uh, are there any other questions that anyone would like to ask at this point? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll open the microphones again so uh, anyone who's just in on audio can, can ask questions. Unless you've muted yourselves, of course. Uh, any further questions? Okay, hopefully, I guess it's, hopefully that. I guess it's, uh, sorry, Dan, I guess it's quite, uh, it's one of those situations where people don't maybe want to answer or ask questions in a public forum. We'd be really happy to follow up with you individually, I'm sure. Uh, just register your interest and we'll, we'll follow up with a call or a meeting of Blue Jeans face to face, whatever it happens to be. And if you've got some opportunities that you're working on where you think maybe the Westcon and Blue Jeans partnership can really uh, be brought to bear, then of course, call us straight away and we'll, we'll start working with you. Absolutely. So uh, all that remains to be said is thank you very much for your time this afternoon. I hope it's been useful to you. I hope you, uh, you see the opportunity that exists within Blue Jeans and Westcon uh, and how that can, can enhance your, your UC and, and video offering to your